Last week in the Battle of Loop Knots, the McNally Loop, developed by famed outdoor writer Bob McNally, beat the Canoe Man Knot in a tough battle. Now we're testing loop knots because loop knots give lures a little more freedom, a little more action, and that can mean more fish. If you missed last week's episode, here's how you tie the McNally loop. Start by running the tag end through the hook eye, leaving plenty of line to work with, at least eight inches. Pinch the tag end against the main line and form a loop with the doubled line. Then run the hook through the loop and around the doubled lines three times. Moisten the knot with a bit of saliva and draw tight. Now that's the McNally loop and it's a really easy knot to tie and as we found out last week, it's also strong as well. Now our second competitor today is called the King Sling. And it's also a very easy knot to tie. One thing to remember though with the King Sling is you have to pass that hook or lure back through the loop so make sure it's big enough. Here's how you tie it. To start the King Sling, run the tag end through the hook eye and bring it back toward the middle, leaving plenty of line to work with. Form a loop in the doubled line and twist it around four times. Run your hook or lure through the resulting loop, moisten with a bit of saliva, and draw tight, holding the main line, the tag line, and the hook. Now that's the King Sling. And you'll notice that the loop itself is much larger than the other knots we've been tying. That's because the hook or lure has to pass through there in the final step of this knot. So the King Sling and the McNally Loop, which one is stronger? Let's find out. Well, we've got the trusty knot testing machine already set up. We've got our Challenger, the King Sling on the left. We've got our reigning leader, the McNally Loop on the right. Here goes. Well, we have a winner, the King Sling. Hey, both of these knots perform very well with mono, fluorocarbon, and braid. That's an impressive number. However, the King Sling beats the McNally Loop because it performs just a little bit better across all three lines. That means the King Sling moves on to next week, which is the final battle in the loop knot category. It faces the two wrap hangman. Sounds dangerous, I wouldn't miss it. By the way, if you'd like to practice tying the King Sling, the McNally Loop, or any of the knots featured in Knot Wars, simply visit fishingclub.com. Knot Wars, because no good fish story ends in a broken knot.